Good evening to all. This evening I'm here again at Sturgis St. Thomas. And I will do another video of Sturgis looking towards the corner that will be back to either the Judy's watering hole shop or back to the flower forest botanical gardens. And you can see the little Jerusalem center, a little Pentecostal church down in here as well. And again, these are the antenna. This is the antenna, which is owned by CBC. CBC is the state-owned radio and television station. The antenna is right here in Sturgis, St. Thomas. This is just around the corner. This is CBC's antenna, which has a, a light blinking. It can be visible at night. Light is to be is to signal to aircraft. Alert aircraft passing nearby not to come too close because it is a very tall structure. And this is a closer view of the antenna, which is owned by CBC. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Thomas, which is in the heart of Barbados. St. Thomas and St. George are the two central parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And again, we are in close proximity to Harrison's Cave and Westmont Hogley. Now approaching back to the former Sturgis plantation, which is now referred to as the Project House, or the home of the heart of Barbados, or the Natural Heritage Department. And that is also connected to Harrison's Cave. All Sturgis, St. Thomas. And again, Harrison Cave runs all under here. All underground here is Harrison Cave. Harrison Cave is just around the corner here. And again, Harrison Cave is a tourist attraction. It was founded by Danish paleologist Ole Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason. <coughs> they discovered it. I should say that they discovered it in 1970. And it was opened to the public in 1981 under the leadership of the Barbados' first Prime Minister. I mean, the second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, who was the parliamentary representative for the parish of St. Thomas at the time. And he, those were the ones who were responsible for the opening of the Harrison Cave. This is the project house known as the Natural Heritage Department, which is also linked to Harrison Cave. It used to organize a series of races for the Welsh Mahal community since 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't seen anything of that sort recently. They used to organize a series of races where you'll be running through all up the house and scale and all through Rachma Hall. So the next, this is another government department, Natural Heritage Department, which is also attached to Harrison Cave. I'm here again at Sturgis in St. Thomas. We are in the center of the island, so there's no sea, no coastline in this parish. There's an old saying that people from St. Thomas or St. George don't know how to swim. 
looking back at the stairs is. So this can be our this this can be the route to St Andrew and to St Joseph, which is a part of the Scotland district. The two parishes here in Barbados best refer to the Scotland district or St Joseph and St Andrew, because they resemble the Scotland countryside and the other parishes here in Barbados with the most hills, and this part of St Thomas is also a bit. This part of St Thomas is a part of the Scotland district as well. A little look at the project house here. So Harrison's cave is just around the corner from here where this green wall is. Harrison's cave is through there. That area is known as Allen View, which is in Richmond Hall, St. Thomas. And this is the project house here, known as the Heart of Barbados. project house here. And storages back up this way. The Natural Heritage Department. So this is the area in which my family from my mother's side were born and raised. Such as my aunts, my great aunts, my first two aunts, my great aunts, my great grandparents, and other family were born and raised. Yeah, yeah in this same area in nearby Vault Road. Yes, there's little storages. St. Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Harrison's Cave is now owned and operated by Chucker Limited from Jamaica. Those, those, those are the, they are the new per, they are the new owners, but not owners, but they are running Harrison's Cave since the 9th of July 2021. They were have taken over Harrison's Cave. Sturges, St. Thomas. I will not take you guys through the whole of the Sturges area. I will just take you guys for a little part of the area today. As I said before, this part of St. Thomas is a, a part of the Scotland district because it is bordering the two Scotland district parishes, St. Joseph and St. Andrew. You can see a bit of St. George and the, uh, into the city from here as well, in the background. So this is the rural district of Sturges here in St. Thomas. And as I said before, there is an old saying that people from St. Thomas and St. George don't know how to swim and people say that because there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. So you'll find out people will say that because these are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. St. Thomas and St. George. Uh, 
out of Barbados. This was once the stern this plantation. Thank you guys for watching now. And have a blessed evening.